Have you ever stopped to think about the complex process behind creating a CPU, the brains of our computers that can solve billions of calculations in a snap? Well, let's take a closer look at how these powerful processes are made. It all starts with a mineral called quartzite, which we extract from sand. This mineral is refined to extract pure silicon, which is the key material used in making CPUs. Once the silicon is extracted, it is sliced into 300 millimeter wafers. These wafers are the foundation for creating multiple CPUs. But how does sand turn into a powerful processor? It's all thanks to extreme ultraviolet light, similar to what is used in space technology. This UV light is used to carve out billions of tiny circuits on the silicon wafer. These circuits are so small that they can fit the entire city of New York on a fingernail. But that's not all. These circuits need to be layered with metals and insulators to make them work. Think of it as a delicious layered cake, but with technology. Once the layering is complete, the wafer is baked, and voila, you have a fully functional chip. But before these wafers can be used, they undergo a rigorous testing process to identify any potential defects. If a wafer has a photo mass defect, it is categorized based on the number of functional units it has. This means that a CPU can be sorted and sold as an i9, i7, i5, or i3, depending on the number of working units it has. After testing, the wafers are laser cut into individual chips. These chips are then flipped and placed onto an interposer, which connects them to the printed circuit board, PCB. Next, a heat conductive cover and integrated heat spreader are attached to the chip to ensure proper cooling. This chip can now perform complex tasks from running video games to launching rockets. It's amazing to think that all of this starts with a simple element found in nature. And there you have it, the final product, a fully functioning CPU ready to be installed onto a motherboard.